What's up guys, my name is Max and today we are going to be doing um, some start of season maintenance on my new bike. I bought a 2004 BMW R1150R Rockster um, <clears throat> from a guy in Houston that put quite a few miles on it over the last few years. Um, it was pretty much the best kind of Craigslist experience. The guy was knowledgeable with the bike, gave me maintenance records. That being said, I'm planning on putting a lot of miles on the bike this winter. So we're gonna do our own full set of maintenance today. So what does that mean? I'm gonna show you guys how to do an oil change. We're gonna replace the air filter. We're gonna flush all of the brakes. We're gonna replace the transmission fluid and the final drive fluid. And we're gonna see if we can put in some H4 LED headlights today uh, to give it a little bit better shine because it's running just kind of stock factory style bulbs and they're really not that bright. Um, so the bike's in really good condition. It's got 48,000 miles on it, so it's been around the block. Um, but like I said, it's in good condition. It's been well maintained. So hopefully this should be pretty, pretty easy, trouble free. Just get through and uh, get this done. So let's start with the oil change. The bike's already warmed up. Rode it around a little bit. Your oil fill is right here, top of the left hand side uh, head. So this is just a plug. You just unscrew this, and that's where you can fill your oil. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. Underneath the bike, if you take a look right here, there is an oil filter. Um, we're going to remove that, drain the oil out of there, and then there's an oil plug right here. Now, I misspoke earlier. It's an eight, uh, number eight uh, hex bit that removes the drain plug. I use k and filters, uh, not because I have any sort of sponsorship or whatever, but uh, simply because they have a, a hex nut on them, and it makes the removal like on a bike like this really, really easy. So now that we've replaced the filter, and reinstall the drain plug all that's left is to uh, fill her up um, the right amount is I believe three and three quarter uh, quarts I got a four quart one gallon jug this is what I use in all my bikes I've used it for almost a decade now uh, is Rotella full synthetic T6 um, and it's never let me down works great in pretty much any sort of motorcycle application, uh, wet clutch or dry clutch. And so that's what we're gonna be pouring uh, into the bike today. And all the stuff that you see me use, I'm gonna put links down uh, for Amazon and the doobly-doo. Um, and if you guys go and use those links, whether you purchase oil or anything else, it helps fund the channel and I appreciate it. Now on this side, we have the transmission and the final drive that we're gonna replace the fluid in. Um, this one's kind of pain in the ass to get to, so I'd like to cut apart one of these oil jugs and use that. Uh, the trans holds, I believe, about 800 milliliters. This holds around 200 or 250. Um, whenever you're doing stuff like this, you just basically have the two, the drain and the fill, and you basically fill it up all the way until fluid starts weeping out of the drain. But one thing I will recommend is always break the drain, or the fill free first. That way you don't accidentally drain all your fluid and then realize you can't fucking get this open and then you're screwed. So. Start with this, then drain it, then close this back up, fill it back up, 800 milliliters um, of gear oil, good to go. Final drive works kind of the same way. Drain plug down here, fill a hole up here, about 200 milliliters, boom, done. So next step is the air filter. For that, you use the key to pop this back seat, then this front seat pulls out, and then there are two screws right here. Um, and then this comes up. It requires quite a bit of a firm tug and then you want to disconnect the electronics. Um, so don't be afraid to get on a little bit. Let's see what condition this air filter is in. Ah, it's really not too bad. Um, the guy told me that he had kept up maintenance that had been replaced not that long ago. So there's a little bit of sand in there. I'm gonna vacuum all that out. Uh, and then we're just gonna drop in the new air filter. Well, unfortunately my idea of using LED H4 bulbs didn't work because this thing's got uh, basically proprietary headlight sockets. They're not proprietary, they're like what's called DS2 or like Euro 2. Um, so they're really easy to retrofit with like an HID kit, um, but they're significantly harder for LEDs. So I'm gonna have to rethink that a little bit and come back to it. Um, but all that's left is to bleed the brakes and bleeding the brakes on this bike is just like you would on any other bike. Um, you actuate the brake over there and then <laughs> Over here, there's these little nipples, and then you just bleed them one at a time. Now this bike has a servo with ABS, um, so it takes a little bit longer to bleed everything out, but the process is exactly the same. Um, and so I'm gonna bleed the fronts and bleed the rears, 
Uh, but there's nothing really to uh, to demonstrate in all of that. It's pretty straightforward, the same way you do it on any other vehicle. Uh, so with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Max. This is MaxWorks. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, at MaxWorks. Uh, see stuff way before it comes out. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, and all of the uh, products that were used in this video are available down in the doobly-doo. Peace.